Uh, no, I'm just glad that they got him. I said, thank God that he didn't hurt anybody else. And I just wish they would have got him way sooner than that. <laughs> Maybe save my Tahoe. <laughs> exactly. okay. Well, we were just out there building fence out in uh, Mertzen. And uh, we were taking lunch and my guys were in a work truck working and I was on the fence line going over stuff with my foreman. And then before you know it, one of my workers goes, hey, who are you? And turns around, this guy runs to the Tahoe, gets in, slams the door, locks himself in it, starts it and starts going. And by then I was coming, running to my Tahoe. The guy reached to try to open the Tahoe. The guy pulled out his gun, stepped on the car and he was coming straight at me with a Tahoe. So I jumped out he, uh, when he went by, he missed me maybe by like a foot and took off going. And we were just like, what just happened? And <laughs> we were all confused and, and stuff because we were, five, six miles west of Mertz in the middle of nowhere. And all of a sudden my Tahoe gets stolen by some guy that we just saw for two seconds. And all we know is that he was a white male, probably about, oh, five, eight, five, ten, you know, has a red goatee and like a red hair and stuff, maybe 180 pounds. And we we're just like, what in the heck is going on? He was wearing khaki pants and a long sleeve shirt and a, like a muscle shirt whenever he did that. And, uh, you know, the other rancher comes in and says, hey, we, uh, we got him because he can't get out of here. Next thing we know, we find out that he drove my Tahoe through like two or three fences to get out, to go to the back road. And then later on, three hours later, I found out my Tahoe was totaled back there in the back somewhere, <laughs> one of those ranches. I yeah. think it's fair to assume that you've never been in a situation like this before. No, no, sir. It was, it was almost like a movie for me. Yeah, yeah, really, <laughs> so fast. You would, you would think you would see this in a movie or a TV show, not a foot in front of right, you. Right, yes, sir. The fact that at this moment, police, law enforcement are still searching for this person and you had such a close encounter. Are you scared, nervous? What kind of goes through your mind right now? Honestly, uh, nothing. I, it didn't even cross my mind about all this going on. I was just trying to get my car. <laughs> and that, that's the only thing. Later on when everybody started calling me, they're like, man, you're so lucky that nothing happened to y'all and God's watching over you. And I'm like, yeah, I guess so. I said, I never even crossed my mind, really thought about it. Didn't even process, I guess. So. It was just one thing that happened right away so fast. I didn't have time to think about it. And you mentioned that your car is totaled out, totaled out, but luckily you have some family in the area and you're able to use their wheels at the moment. Yes, sir. Thank God my dad showed up and got me a vehicle so I can come pick up my son for school and that's what I'm using right now. Yes, sir. What, what do you tell your friends and family about this experience? I know, you know, everyone <laughs> was asking you, I'm okay, but mm -hmm. I mean, it's almost hard to believe that something like this could happen. Yeah, I, I, right now everyone keeps asking me the same question. How did this happen out there in the middle of nowhere? I was like, man, I have no clue. Everyone's like, you left your keys in the car? I'm like, I'm in the middle of nowhere in the sticks. Of course I left my keys in the car. I was like, I don't lock it, don't leave anything. And it, like I said, it just everything happened so fast. I mean, didn't have the time to think about it. And right now I'm still kind of processing a little bit, man, what am I gonna do next and, and whatnot. <laughs> Do you think yeah. you'll keep your head on a swivel a little bit more going forward from here? Honestly, no, I'll be the same way because I hopefully never pray to God this never happens again. I mean, what's the odds of something like that happening in the country? <laughs>